We begin the news at 10 with a community grieving still without answers to so many questions. Five-year-old Michael, affectionately known as Monkey Vaughn, went missing from his Fruitland neighborhood in July of 2021. The police chief told us today that crews finished digging up the backyard of a house where they believed Michael's remains were buried. That house, just four minutes from the Vaughn's home. Our Abby Davis was at a candlelight prayer circle tonight for Michael and his family and Abby, the community really banding together and continuing to show their support as they have been for more than a year now. Well, Morgan, about 100 people actually showed up to the candlelight vigil, and everyone I spoke with really just wanted to show the Vaughn family how loved they are. Michael's coming home. We haven't given up hope, and we won't give up hope. <laughs> hope and prayer for Michael Vaughn, who was just five years old when he went missing from his Fruitland neighborhood in July of 2021. We needed to do something just for the community to come together and show support for this family and for Michael, so we decided to do a uh, candlelight prayer circle. Michael's mom, Brandy Neal, says she's overwhelmed with love. The love and the support and the kindness that everybody has continuously shown Michael and our entire family this entire time and to come out in the freezing cold and just show how strong we are as a community together. It's, it's amazing. Michael's become everybody's son, grandson, brother. Brooke Curtis, who organized the prayer circle, says she wants to show the world we're better together than apart. I think with prayer, I think just allowing uh, everybody to open up about their wishes and, and support for this family and this community, I think that really putting that in a verbal sense really brings the community closer together. I came out here tonight because this really just, you know, hit home for me. I've been watching it for unfold for a year and a half now. I think it's important for the community to kind of wrap their arms around this family and show them that they're loved and they're cared about. We love you all and thank you. Thank you so, so very much. Everyone that has been helping us with hot meals and um, just kind words and prayers and hugs <laughs> for our entire family, all the way around, and uh, our extended family across the country. Um, thank you. Thank you for your kindness and support. Affectionately known as Monkey, Neil says Michael lived up to the nickname. He's sweet and kind and loving, and he would probably have been running up hugging every single person that was here right now if he could have been here. We're going to find him. I think he promised. Police arrested a woman named Sarah Wandra on a charge of failure to report a death in connection to Michael's case earlier this month. She lives in the house crews have been digging up. But Morgan, as far as getting answers goes, it's going to be at least another week before police tell us what they found in that search at Wandra's house. I spoke with Chief Huff earlier today, and he said that he plans on hosting a news conference next week sometime. Okay, I know we'll stay on top of that. And as for Sarah Wandra, we've been reporting that she was supposed to have a couple hearings this week, and uh, it was determined that she needed to be committed to a facility where her competency, her mental competency, could be restored before yes. she was able to assist in her own trial. All right. All right, Abby Davis, thank you. Appreciate it.